Hey man, it's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest on 2K in existence. And listen up, we are finna go over the best builds in NBA 2K24. Apparently, the content creators have already found them, and 2K Lab has given us a tier list. We're gonna check it out and go over it in depth, cause y'all all know I am the build god himself. And also, make sure y'all join my goddamn Discord in the description, because I will have 2K24 early. So if y'all wanna see that, join it, and if you need people to play with, go join the Discord right now, then come back to the video, you know? We already got 50,000 people in there. Now, before we get into this, y'all make sure y'all subscribe if you're new. Help me hit 277. Help me hit 277K.6. We are 95 subscribers away. And make sure you hit that goddamn like button, boy. It helps young Swan grow. Oh, so the templates. Hey, so let, let, let's look at this. This is the Lamelo Ball template, right? It actually looks pretty decent especially at 6'7", based off on how other builds are. The 88 layup definitely gonna be OP, especially since they boosted layups. The 83 drive and dunk, definitely decent, especially at 6'7", and paint defense being trash. 45 standing dunk, that's the dunk you needed always to get the standing dunk cheese. The three decent, midi decent, free throw decent. The pass accuracy is insane. The ball handle, great. The speed with ball, great. He just got no defense. And it's looking like you're gonna have to like do that. You know, it got decent acceleration for the six, seven, I believe. And the speed, I guess people really want. So if y'all doing this template, this better, this better be high on the tier list, Koza. Yeah, it, but it could be S, but I don't know about all these other templates. We gonna see. Now this hole right here, it's eh. You know, the layup cool. You can get off with it. The driving dunk, uh, standing dunk, uh. The midi's insane. Three point, uh, looking decent. You know, he got decent play, like pretty good playmaking. Defense horrible, speed, uh, acceleration. You need more acceleration, right? If y'all really watch this video, You'll learn how to make your build based off of how you want to play. A lot of y'all think y'all know, bro, but you don't. Every time I see randoms builds since 2K14, they've been horrible, okay? Majority of people's builds are horrible, okay? So, you know, you'll get a lot of insight watching this video, man. Slow, not able to dunk the basketball efficiently with below average defense. Yep. I think we're going to put him at the C tier. Yep. Up next, we have Cade Cunningham. Now, he has decent finishing, yep. 85 driving layup. Okay, let, hold on. Cade. Okay, the finishing good. The driving dunk, eh. Post control, who cares? The midi decent. Three point, eh. Playmaking great. Defense, eh. Acceleration not too much. He's six seven, so this is definitely a tier lower than Lamelo for sure. I'm in an A tier, but a lower A tier. Mm -hmm, now on to Luka mm -hmm, Doncic. Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe, maybe they they juicing Luka like Luka some immaculate passer. They got they got this boy at ninety six pass accuracy, eighty five ball handle, tripping. But this is another decent ish one, right? The layup, immaculate close shot, immaculate driving down, yeah, post control. You'll probably be able to use that, you know? Um, the midi's good. Three's eh. Playmaking, you know? Defense horrible. It doesn't, it probably doesn't seem like this build can, you, you probably be able to speed boost with it. I, I'm not too sure, but this is an eh. Definitely, you know, de definitely on the A tier. But it's not, it's not as good as LaMelo's. So in the right hands, he is very usable. Overall, I'm going to go ahead and put him in the B tier. But like I said, B? in the right hands can be very deadly. Now, uh, you should have put the the K dude at B two. De'Aaron Fox is one of the faster player templates we have in. Now De'Aaron Fox, ooh, especially if ooh, did hey hey, we don't we don't we don't we don't know the driving layup looking crazy, the driving dunk, eh, midi decent, three point eh, the playmaking, the speed with ball, okay, he might make speed with ball matter a little more. Playmaking looking really good, of course you know no defense, he can move on the perimeter a little. But look, he got that acceleration. You need that if you're a speed booster, a main guard. Okay, this would be more of like a comp. Eh, not really a comp build because a three too low, but it's a, it's, a, it's a decent build. Since he has a lower three pointer and a lower defense, we're gonna go ahead and put him in the B tier. Yeah, he definitely deserved to be in the B tier. Here, Scoot Henderson being 6'2", but has an- Scoot Henderson, 6'2", flying. That finishing is immaculate. The three is decent. 
definitely when you're short, they never suspect that you have high finishes. So you could really catfish a lot of people. Unless it says it in your build name. Who knows if it, I wonder what the it, what build name it makes it. Unless they like signify that you're like a slasher, you could get busy with this hole. The playmaker is pretty good. No defense. 6-2 the acceleration at 87. Mm. It's, it's, it's decent. It's decent. Is decent? This whole decent? See, while having a very low perimeter defense and having a little steal. Decent physicals all around. I'm going to go ahead and put him in the B tier. Next is Drew Holiday with an A. Yeah, he definitely deserved B tier. Now, this is basically a two-way, like, playmaker in a way. Because he does have playmaking enough to, uh, you know, move around, get up out the corner. He don't have to just be a straight, just lock. But also, you know, you can't get bigger. You know, the shooting decent. You know, he got, got some defense on him. It's a decent build, you know? Decent. It's usable. Take care of all situations he needs to take care of. I would put him in a high A tier. Up next, we have Kyrie Irving with an insane 91. High A tier. Eh, I guess maybe because of defense. Who knows? Y'all also let me know where y'all would rank these people. Now, Kyrie Irving. Now, this is just disrespectful. 30, driving dunk. Come on, dog. Come on, dog. The layup needs to be higher than, than everybody. Like he's like layup god. That some people think he's a uh, greatest finisher ever. To be honest, uh, he has excellent shooting, playmaking great. Ball handle needs to be 99. They gave him no defense. Hey, but <laughs> y'all sim heads, y'all love this builder though. But don't look realistic. <laughs> he should definitely have a higher uh, acceleration than 87. They tripping. But uh, th this is th you could like make this like a comp build, even though the three's low. But you 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 could you know you you could get jiggy with this for sure. It's 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 pretty decent. It's pretty decent. And driving layup in a 98 ball. Uh, no defense though. Field. Look, if you play with randoms, don't do builds like this. When you play with randoms, you need defense on your build, like somewhat. You know, but when you can get covered up by your teammates, that's when you can make builds with no D. Very little to no defense. I would put him in a mid A tier. Westbrook coming in at. Okay, mid A tier. Yeah, I see it. I see it. 6 3 with an 83. Look, they did Westbrook dirty. 73 pointer. Like, bro, he did not shoot that bad. And his midi is 72. It's just disrespectful, bro. It's finishing, you know, it's pretty good. Uh, the pass accuracy, this is another disrespectful thing. You're giving these corn balls, these 90 plus pass accuracies, these 96. Bro, Russ is a way better playmaker. When you can't shoot <laughs> and you can still be an effective playmaker that truly shows your ability to playmake. Because everyone's playing off you, they're worried about everyone else. You know, so they can, you know. They're really waiting because they don't really view you as a threat. And to bro, 77, like way higher than like, bro, they're they're tripping. This this whole should be in the 90s. This is very disrespectful. The defense is uh but um the speeds is cool, but the 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 shooting is too weak. So this is a eh. I would put him in a mid B tier, definitely usable though. Next we have Trey Young. Yep, facts. Coming in at 6-1 with a night. <laughs> they gave this dude. 25 duck. Hey, Trey overhated, man. He he really got a lot of stats on. This. But look, he got a stupid high close shot, stupid high layup. The the shooting's pretty decent. The playmaking is immaculate. No defense. And the accelerations is uh so he's definitely usable. He's he should definitely be on the same level as a Lamelo. Acceleration. So fitting into that small guard meta category while still having some of the best rooms in the game. I'm gonna go ahead and put him in that low S tier. Onto Bradley Beal. Oh, low S tier. Oh, I don't know about those. Maybe. Bradley Beal, immaculate finishing, pretty good shooting, decent playmaking, a little bit of uh, perimeter D. A little bit of acceleration is definitely usable. Very mid, 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 mid. Or a little slow for a 6-4 build. We're going to go ahead and put him in a low A tier. Jalen. Mm, low A. Eh, definitely A or B. Brown, 87 driving layup. Now, Jalen Brown, immaculate finishing. Shooting pretty good. Threes, eh. So this definitely like, you know, y'all wreckheads. Y'all, bro, this is like, this definitely got to be S tier. I ain't going to hold you. This might have to be S tier. Uh, the speeds, though. The playmaking's decent. You got some defense. And you got the finishing and the shooting. You're 6'6". 
got some steel on you, got some perimeter D, some interior, some defensive rebound. Just the acceleration is an F and the speed low. So it's like, you know, but definitely usable. Yeah, may maybe A, maybe A, a S or A. This will go into the S tier. I'll okay, S tier. Yeah. And by the way, more NBA player template builds are going to uh, come in throughout the year. They said, <laughs> F you Demi, you're not him. We're not just gonna give you the builds and you sprinkle them throughout the community. We're just gonna give them to him right away. But I heard replica builds are, are still gonna be on current, so hey. Edward 6 4 with a 9. They really trying to juice their plants, they, uh, they industry plants. That's crazy. So they can really have control over the community. <laughs> leak, 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 leak. Now, Anthony Edwards. Finishing immaculate, shooting decent, playmaking pretty good. He got some D on him, just a little bit. Pause. Um, six four. Eh. Speeds is eh. Need a little more acceleration. Definitely usable. Definitely like he in the A. He in the A. Six four. I will put him around a middle A tier. Josh Giddy, our yep, first six yep. eight. Now look, they are double twisting. Throw attributes maxed for some reason, and a lot of these NBA template builds. People with this guns, huh? They they be having a little too high pass accuracy. It's like what what they trying to say? You feel me? Like what what are they trying to say? You know QBs? What 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 was they rating? You know you know like I was, what's what's going on? What's I don't know about no 95 pass accuracy. Like what's going on, bro? Like what? But the finishing's decent, uh, not the driving dunk, uh, shooting. Uh, now the playmaking's pretty good, especially at six eight. Um, the defense is, you know, it's it's, it's decent. You know, you could, you know, it's a, uh, you know, it's it's, it's decent. I, I'd say this whole A, yeah, A could possibly be a S, maybe. The standing dunk, you know, that's it. Uh, I had to put him at a middle A tier on the type. Uh, a, yep. But hero, he has an eighty eight driving. Lane. Tyler Hero, 88, driving layup, what? Okay, the driving layup and the close shot pretty high, the shooting is immaculate, Um, the playmaking decent, he got a little bit of perimeter D, a little bit of defensive rebound, and then the speed is there. This, this whole usable, definitely usable. Then you 6'5", this is, eh, eh. But hey, listen, listen, my builds will be better than all these template builds. Use my builds as templates to how you should make your build. You know, I'm really the build guy. Physicals coming around 80 speed, 80 acceleration. I would go ahead and put him in the A tier. Yeah, A tier, yeah. Zach Levine coming in with an- Zach Levine. Finishing is immaculate. Shooting's decent. Playmaking's pretty good. He got some defense on him. Just a little bit. It could've, should've gave him more acceleration. More explosive than that. Hey, this is, this is decent. A high A, possibly S. Hi, A. Physicals. He is missing out on strength, though, as a slasher. I would put him in a lower A tier, but just that 90 dunk alone while still being able to shoot gets him in there. That man, Austin Reeves. Now, look at this. They got this dude's stat better than, like, real stars. Like, this dude can shoot better than Jalen Brown. What is going on, bro? I don't know how his shooting is this high. It's, it's, I don't know, bro. It's a lot of double twisting. Like, <laughs> like... Bruh, he is not like this. Like, really think about it, bro. Like, if he really deserved these stats, they would call that hoe a big three. You feel me? But he got great finishing besides the drive and dunk. Excellent shooting. The playmaking's mid. He got some perimeter D. A little bit of rebound. Speeds is eh. 6'5", it's, it's definitely in the A tier. 6'5", I would probably throw him in the B tier. Only being 6'5", but not being able to handle the... B tier? Uh, I'll, I'll, I will put him A. I'll put him A. Rock, but also not being a great defender, definitely lands him in the B or even maybe the C tier. On the Marcus Smart, another two A. C. I wonder why in all these NBA template builds, they always give all these builds close shot. I wonder if that's like gonna matter more because it's, it's very weird how like they all have high close shot. The finishing is eh, the shooting eh, playmaking eh, the defense is immaculate. Huh? This is it's decent. This whole usable and it got strength, right? It's six four under undersized uh playmate. So deep. Average finishing. I would go ahead and put him in a low eight. Low A. Yeah, yeah. Here, yeah. yeah, but just because he can play defense, he definitely deserves his spot up there. On to Clay Thompson coming in with a goldenless range at a ninety two three point rating, a ninety minute. 
Young Clay Thompson in this hole. The finishing is all right. The, man, these close shots, y'all. Y'all see what I mean? The shooting is immaculate. Playmaking mid. Defense is pretty good. You know, this is definitely like a real sharpshooter that you would use. And it got some finishing. This is pretty. I put this whole A tier. A or S. I ain't gonna hold you. That's pretty good from the sharpshooter perspective. Yeah. I put it A or S. And you got D, you really like a like a playmaking sharp block. <laughs> Having a solid frame at 6'6 six, six with a 6'8 wingspan, I think he deserves a spot in the high A tier. Mikel Bridge is another mm, solid frame. High A, man, to be, bro, he might be an S, cause he, a, you gotta think about it, he a two way player. And he got like that immaculate shooting, I don't know. He really a three way player, you know? And coming in at 6'6. Six, six. Damn. Okay, the finishing is, you know, it's pretty decent. Yeah, the finishing is mid. The shooting is pretty good. Playmaking is mid. The defense is pretty good. Speeds is low. Acceleration for a 6'6 build. I would go ahead and also throw him in the A tier. Yeah, he definitely, definitely in the A. Here, Jimmy Butler coming in with an 89 steal goal. That damn Jimmy Butler, man. Jimmy's better than KD and Giannis. If you don't think so, you are a goddamn highlight watcher, my boy. The finishing is immaculate, okay? The shooting's eh. They should have given him a higher three ball. I ain't gonna hold you. The playmaking's eh. The defense is pretty damn good. And then the speeds, you know? Yeah, this is, this, this hole definitely usable. Gold interceptor with the 87 perimeter defense. 79 three. 99 80 driving stamina. 85 driving. And that's 6 7. Definitely deserves a spot in the A tier. On the PG 13, mm -hmm. some solid, Facts. really solid, well rounded. It's like certain people they gave low shooting and like other people higher shooting it's very weird i wonder if those people actually shoot better like paul george 80 80. Uh -huh. now his finishing is immaculate his shooting pretty good his playmaking pretty good and he's 6 8. you got to keep that in mind he has excellent defense. This hoe definitely like high A. His speeds are slow though. He definitely like high A. You could do the, you could, bro, you could do the S tier. I ain't gonna hold pretty good. This build is well-rounded enough to go ahead and go into the S tier. Yeah. You have to remember, you're gonna have Paul George dribble moves, which yeah. will be a big advantage while being an elite perimeter defender, all at 6'8 and can score at all levels. I would actually go ahead Sorry. and put him above Trey Young right under Jalen Brown. Mm. Brandon Ingram. And Brandon Ingram, this is the guy who y'all seen get truck. His his finishing is immaculate. His shooting is immaculate. Three little, you know. The defense, eh, you know. He got some interior up on him. Then the speeds is slow. This is definitely I would you know, put this in the A. Yeah. Some post control to work the post with. I would definitely put him in Oh, who he do got strength. He do got strength. High A tier. Now Michael Porter. Yeah, yeah high A. Junior 6'10 and his jump shot is MPJ 610 finishing pretty good the shooting pretty good playmaking pretty good for a 610 you got a little bit of defense on him. this look kind of decent acceleration kind of low this is decent this is decent it's usable it's looking buttery smooth off the catch and shoot usable. An 88 driving layup defense i would say a solid scoring on top of his jump shot he would fit his way into the a tier on the Jalen Brown uh -huh. another six damn they got they got Tatum crazy. Okay, it's finishing. Immaculate. Hey, they, they was kind of smart with giving the 45 standing dunk because that's really the, the sauce that we've been doing for the years. You know, good shooting, decent playmaking, and he got some D. This might be S tier to speed, a little slow. You feel me? But this hoe might be S tier, and he got a little strength on him, and some post control. Definitely S tier. And handle the rock with an 80 ball handle. He gets perimeter defense at some steel yeah, and he has some block on this he has around solid physicals. He definitely earns his spot in the high A tier. Now going on to the big man the power forward. You tripping. You tripping. You tripping, Koza. Paulo Benchero, 6'10 power. 6'10. God damn. He got some finishing on it. He got decent shooting. Decent playmaker for 6'10. Speed with ball a little low. He got a little bit of defense on him. He got some strength on him. This is definitely a great build to use also. Not great, but for like these hoes, this is pretty decent. As a 6'10", only having bronze rebound chaser, I'm gonna go ahead and throw him in the B tier. Mm, I would put him A tier. It's more all around, even though it's a, it's a center, you know, I 
mean, you can run the two with that. God damn. Now, look. This is disrespectful. First off, you can't be a dunker and have such low speed and acceleration, to be honest. It just, just doesn't make sense, you know? I know they're trying to, like, nerf everything, but to, like, say, like he's some slow cat. Anyways, the finishing's immaculate. The shooting, you know, he got the three ball. The playmaking, pretty weak, especially for 6'8". Defense is eh. Um, it's eh. You know, but you could definitely cheese the damn finishing. Uh, he's a legit scorer. I'm going to go ahead and throw him into the high B tier. Now, Draymond Green. Mm. Now, look at this. They done made Draymond way better than he is in real life. They done gave him a higher three than other people, than Russ, for instance, which is crazy. They gave him a high, I think they gave him a higher, the same midi as Russ? Insane. They gave him a higher pass accuracy than Russ? Insane. But it's just like, it just don't make sense. You know, he got playmaking, uh, tripping. You know, he got some decent defense. This is definitely a... Uh, it's kind of weak because it's six six, and he's slow. But it's like you know, it's 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 decent, but it ain't just you know, it's mid 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 mid. It's below average finishing. I'm gonna go ahead and say stay away from a six six that's guarding other power forwards. That could be six ten. He's not any elite shooter by any means. I'm gonna yep. go ahead and throw him in the C tier. There just isn't mm. much of a point that, that high of a passing rating and that short of a power forward. Now Jaron Jackson Jr. 80 driving. Down. Yo, they did this dude dirty. Just the fact that they gave him 26 speed with ball is weird. That's not even a glitch. Yeah, just don't even use this. What in the hell? <laughs> Yo, what? Yo, they said he like the slowest player alive. He got great finishing and shooting and great defense or decent defense but what the i just wish he had some more rebounding i'm gonna go ahead and put him in the high b tier but definitely an elite defender Cam bro he got a he got a 26 speed with ball my boy johnson a six eight seven decent finishing immaculate shooting terrible playmaking decent defense weak speed you know it's eh my perimeter i'm gonna go ahead and throw him in a high b tier uh, yeah, baby. Now, Laurie Markinen at seven a foot. As a seven foot. God damn. Finishing's pretty good. Shooting pretty good. Playmaking weak. Defense, eh. Speed weak. Yeah, it's a decent build. You know, B ish. You know, yeah, he got a little decent. He can rebound the ball with an 82 defensive rebound. Ooh, 98 close shot. I didn't even see that. That's like some post score. He might be able to be a butter B. Let's look. Um, he's a little bit slower, but he can really do it all at the seven foot height. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw him in a low A tier. Mm. Now Evan Mobley coming in with the silver anchor, 85 interior, 87 block, 82 rebound. Has a 73 point rating. We're gonna have to see. Great finishing, weak shooting, eh, playmaking, decent defense. Eh. Uh. See how that plays out. 85 standing dunk while with an 80 driving dunk. I'll go ahead and put him right next to Markin. Pascal Siakam, a six. Great finishing, decent shooting, decent playmaking. Little bit of defense, weak speed, another mid build, mid, 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 Eight mid. All around power forward, can handle the ball with the 80 ball handle and shoot with this. Hey, low key, the, that finishing dude, you know. Yeah. 76 three point rating, I think that is a very good threshold for spot up shooters. Can finish at all levels, even gets post control. Some it's average defense, decent, but definitely is still there. Honest. I can see this build being very usable. Having a tough time to put him in the high B or low A tier, I think I'm gonna go ahead and throw him in the low A tier. Carl Anthony yeah. Towns with an 80. Hey, this is a pretty good popper build. I ain't gonna hold you. He got a little okay rebounding. The speeds is weak, but he got some strength. Weak playmaking. He got shooting, and he got pretty good defense. I mean, uh, sh uh finishing. Hey, this might be the the damn best center build. <laughs> uh, not the best interior defender. I'm gonna go ahead and throw him in a low A tier. DeAndre mm. Ayton, another seven foot. Decent finishing, decent shooting, weak playmaking. He got some. He got some D on him. You know. Eh. Defensive rebound. I would go ahead and throw him in that B tier just because of him. Listen, never make a popper with a three like that if you're not like really good, bro. You know, the worse you are, the higher you got to make your three ball and your builds. 
his shot not being too respectable and his defense not being elite he also can't pass the ball too well so i'm gonna go ahead and throw him in the b tier now anthony davis actually like his MP damn they hold him on that three so the finishing is pretty good the shooting's ad playmaking's ad the defense is pretty good it's a decent ish usable center build with an 86 defensive rebound i'm gonna go ahead and throw him in around a mid a tier i think he can definitely be usable even a higher yeah. a tier we just have to see how that 73 mid, point rating works out mid mid mid, mid now mid. we got the glass cleaner andre Drum great finishing shooting weak playmaker eh. defense look pretty solid weak speeds got some strength on him this is this is usable for inside center 6'11. Oh, him in a high B tier, but he is a solid build with his rebounding. Just him not being able to shoot at any level and him not being able to pass the ball up the court to push the pace is kind of messing with me. Now, Nikolai Jokic, 6. Okay, he got a little bit of rebounding, pass accuracy, definitely a W. Shooting's great, finishing's great. This is definitely usable, okay? On these builds, I'm saying that's usable. You can, you know, you could be inspired by them, but. A lot of these hoes ain't got no D, so it's like, you know. Especially for the center, but I think his other attributes make up for it. I'm gonna go ahead and throw him in around a mid A tier. Now, Sabonis, I think mm. his template is very solid. Set. Damn, 98 close shot, post scoring god, immaculate damn shooting. Okay, so this, this, he me hit, bro, post score. And he got some playmaking. This is a decent build, but the speeds is low as hell. This is pretty decent, man pretty decent more decent than the others is pretty decent pass accuracy so when he does get that defensive rebound he can push the pace i'm gonna go ahead and throw him in a mid a tier last but not least miles turner coming at this build is slow as hell he got some decent defense uh, pretty good defense weak playmaking good shooting and uh some decent finishing so but the 25 speed with ball oh, god damn finish inside for sure i think he deserves his spot in the a tier now i did try to put the better yep. players high like it's a pretty decent uh tier list i ain't gonna hold you make sure y'all go watch this video if you want to see how they ruin nba 2k24 my career and park gameplay i've revealed the truth to you but hey hey here we go again Talking this for witness, hit the fan. Everything I'm that made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome. dome.